Hello everybody, welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. Yes, we do have a creeper with a, a T-Rex on its head in front of us, and we do have a bunch of items going around, and I would love to explain that to you. But what we're doing today, quick, quick little explanation. We're not doing that. We are, in fact, going to be going through some of this, a basic factory, progressing through this, getting a lot of this stuff out of the way, and in fact, I think this is going to be a bunch of fun. It's got a lot of interesting things around it, and I, I think you, you're going to enjoy it. But first of all, let's get going with this... Yeah, that's a concussion creeper. I think that just will re... will teleport me somewhere else, so... Okay, didn't even do anything to me. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, so let's quickly explain what's going on here. I've done a bunch of stuff, just got ourselves a platform sorted out. We've also gone ahead and... this keeps showing up, but we've completed our... This one, Magical Flowers. We've completed this, which was that Sinrins, which were holding us back. That's not a problem anymore. We've, we've moved on, and we've unlocked ourselves some true magic right around there. If you guys are still playing, definitely don't forget about the quest book where you just have to click that piece there and you'll be able to to go ahead and, and continue through it. Just don't forget that, else you won't find it. So here we go, some true magic. We will be going through this and you can see just from our luck of having found all these things through sifting and whatever whatever, whatever means it is, uh, we've managed to get ourselves quite a bit of this. So we'll, we'll go through that eventually, but that's not our, our goal today. Today our goal is to continue to progress through this spot here. And one of the things we have to do is go ahead and do some of these things, which were the, the very basic tools. And in fact, these were some of the very basic moving pieces of this piece. Now, a few things that I have not yet found a, a, a like necessity for, which I could imagine if you were doing a bit of crazy redstone, would be these things here, the pulse piston. I haven't found a way to properly demonstrate it in here, but it's pretty simple. It basically just gives a pulse, I guess, when an uh, when item goes through it, I would imagine. I'm not 100% certain, uh, but look at this. We've got ourselves the, trans the transport rollers. We've got ourselves this, which is, we'll just let everything kind of <laughs> hook itself up here. In fact, let's start this up. This over here is a fan. Look at this fan. Just push this stuff up. Pretty neat little thing, and we can also switch it off. And what this thing at the top here is, is the re lift receiver. So anything that comes up, it just pushes off to the little opening. Pretty neat little thing, and you can see this all kind of getting stuck up here. We've got the insertion hatch, which takes anything off one of these transport rollers, puts it in a chest. The auto ejector, which takes anything out of a chest, and pushes it over there. Pretty easy stuff, and it's, it's all... I, I think pretty awesome, to be honest. So I hope to use that just for a, for some sort of a thing that we could do in, in this place. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some reason for it, because we do have pipes, and pipes are significantly easier, I think, in my opinion, uh, to use, which are some of these over here, which we did have to do a little bit of a, a quest over here for, around there. But I, I think what we'll do is we'll just keep progressing through here. We'll be able to use these pipes, and we certainly will use them. But what I think is our best bet is to just go through some of these machines and try and find ways that we can make this useful to us living here on this island. The first one that I do want to go for, and I want to just see how it is. This is, I'm sure, what strikes most people's fancy, is the river gate, which is one of the very basic things here. We've got a river gate, when placed near water and given wooden meshes, generates iron, nickel, and copper, uh, in the nugget form, of course. And it needs to be between Y level 60 and 70. But look at this. We're Y level 85. So we're going to have to go and do ourselves a little bit of uh, abseiling, but not really. We're going to have to use water, I guess, to do that. But before we go any further with that, I've got one other thing I want to do. Because that, that obviously <laughs> could end up being quite a horrible, horrible tragedy if we, do, if we do miss the water. But let's go ahead and do this. I want to show you something pretty neat. So we opened a Master Chef a while ago, and I've just been slowly progressing through it. I've gone ahead and got all these things here, except for this cow in a jar, which provides milk to recipes. Pretty neat little thing. However, to make a cow in a jar, if we go here, we go cow in a... There we go, that should be enough. Right there. It's got a little recipe where we have to have a milk jar with a cow on top of it, and an anvil on top of that. So I'm assuming that anvil has to fall one block on top of the cow. And luckily, we've managed to find ourselves a cow spawning around here, which now I've got standing on top of a milk jar. Can you see it there? You can just partially see it there. But I'm not too sure whether this is going to be the proper recipe. So we may very well be, be hurting a cow. Let's put it that way. Or we may get ourselves this right. So this is my first attempt. Let's go for it. Okay, that worked. Fantastic. I was very worried. Uh, oh, there's me trying to zoom in. I don't have Optifine installed, I don't think. Uh, but, <laughs> but we've got it. Does this move? It doesn't. But it, it stores milk. I hope I can break this. I really do. Can I just get rid of that? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So let's go pop this guy. Does it count as an ingredient in there? If I, if I do that? Surely. I mean, I've got... 
I've got the milk jar. It, yeah, it, it probably isn't. I'm gonna guess it isn't. So we'll just leave it. Actually, can we put it in the fridge? Just there. Yeah, you can see it's slowly storing up milk, so I guess it would have to be out. Uh, in fact, this toaster, I'm not too sure what it's useful for. I haven't found a use for it, so I'll put it on the fridge. Put this one in around here. And then we've got ourselves a nice little kitchen. I might actually make this a nice, interesting little kitchen. Kind of like what I've done with the factory and uh, and also the additionally... Actually, additions, not additionally. I keep doing that. Uh, but there we go. That, that can just keep storing itself up. And All right, well, this thing was a pain in the butt to get to work. I'm not too sure if I've done this the correct way, but... As I've just been placing this in water, around water, and just trying to get water to work around it, eventually, when I just went ahead and, and uh, well, the last thing was I filled up this one, <laughs> uh, water ended up filling up. So I'm not too sure how this works. It says, when placed near water. And over here, it says, when placed near water. So maybe it's these side ones that need to be filled in, perhaps. Maybe it's those, maybe it's the ones around it. Uh, but either way, it didn't happen until I placed that side one in. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave this here and <laughs> hope that it works. But what we do need to do is we need to actually quickly make ourselves one of these just around here. Th that'll do. It's not a problem, but that's that's fine. And then we also want to go ahead and make ourselves some of these, which are the meshes to go inside. And we'll just do a few because I'm pretty sure they, they wear down and I'll show you with the other machines what happens. So if we do that there, you can see it's gone to three because it's pulled one in. Okay, so that's how it works. It seems like it's actually working fast. But these are for nuggets, I'm fairly certain, not for actual ingots. So I'm pretty sure these do wear down. We might just make a few more and just get a, a big stash over here. Like that maybe and there. What is that? Just an extra. Yeah, we could really just do one more. Okay, so these stack to four. That's an inter That's interesting. Uh, maybe that do they stack to- yeah, they, they only stack to four even in your inventory. That is very strange. So that's one thing we could do. We could also maybe have a look at how we're going to extract these. So we get fish as well, which is actually quite useful because we do need to eat some stuff. So we, we'll go ahead and do that. I've just been going through a whole bunch of just different recipes. Iron seems to be the best one, but either way, you know what? We've got this sorted out. We've got this moving and working for us. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start up with a few other little things to do with this factory tech mod, which, by the way, I've never used as I, as probably is quite clear. And not only that, also uh, is uh, is I'm not so sure how familiar people are with this, but I I hope that if my confusion could help your guy, you guys to be less confused, that would be fantastic. And I, I think this is going to be something we're going to be able to definitely navigate our way through and, and besides that it's got a lot of fun looking things in it to to top it off so we'll get rid of that we'll go back and check that area down there a bit later but let's go ahead and start going with some of these things which is making wires and drills and by the way if you're having some struggles with the grindstone i can show you how to do that it's actually very simple extremely simple and i think we actually get nickel so we can actually start filling up with nickel uh, so what we want to do is we wanted to go ahead and what was it called metal cutting machine we go to metal and then cutting machine like this so we need two nickel ingots which we are getting nickel anyway we need to make ourselves one of these basic motors which by the way uh you're gonna need yourself a bunch of these so i guess we could maybe just do okay oh yeah they, they stack to four as well look at this they stack to four as well uh maybe i think it's probably to do with with this thing and i'll show you inside here now so we need to make ourselves some of these we will grab some redstone, some lapis, and lapis is something we're running pretty short on at the moment, strangely enough. And then we can stack them all up. Perfect. And then we need a nickel cutting blade, which is fantastic, because I wanted to show you guys how this nickel stuff works. And in fact, if we can just, well, how this uh, grindstone works. Because at first, it might not seem quite as, as obvious. So the same thing happens with the meshes. You put that in there. One goes in to work the machine. I'm assuming there's a durability on that, or maybe a random chance of it breaking. And what you can do is you can either put in one of these basic gears to make one of the cutting blades or a piece of nickel. And what this will do, or a nickel ingot that is, what this will do is this will create us the nickel cutting blade. Very easy. And the, the chop saw, you need one of those things in there. You can see similar sort of thing. So you just need a few ingredients of, of things to cut, which I think is pretty, pretty fair, to be honest, with these sorts of machines. Because they do a lot of cool stuff. So making wires and drills, similar thing. We need one of these in there. So you can see that one's full. We can put one of these in here to go do our do our stuff. And while we're doing that, we can go and check what our next thing is that we have over here. So we can go and do ourselves a standard wire and a drill bit. So let's check out what a, a drill bit would need. Drill bit. 
Uh, those aren't the things. In fact, we haven't done those from actually additions. Uh, but a drill bit over there. We need to put ourselves a blunt drill bit, which is made in a metal cutter with a nickel ingot. Okay, so if we put a nickel ingot in there, we'll need ourselves this here. That should make us a blunt drill bit. Is that is that right? And we need a drill bit. So a blunt drill bit in a grindstone will make us a proper drill bit. So just like that. Okay, perfect. Then the other thing we needed was some wire. So we'll probably get a fair bit of wire around here, alternating flux. Uh, there we go. Factory tech. We just need a copper ingot in, I'm assuming, one of these. I didn't actually check very, very quickly there, but I'm pretty sure that's what we need. It's, it's actually fairly simple, this stuff. So we got that there. We grab our drill bit. That should be completed. And then we get our standard wire. And we can go ahead and claim that. I think there should be... Does that just void off the, the crates? Oh, no, there it is. I was going to say, because I'm very, very used to getting rid of these crates. If I just need a full inventory to get rid of them, I will definitely always have a full inventory. Let's just clear out a little bit of space in this extremely full inventory with a bunch of useless stuff. There we go. Goodbye. And now we can move along and see what this unlocks for us. So we've got ourselves the next tier of things. We've got making magnets, which is a magnetizer. We've got ourselves mechanical smelting which could be quite interesting. The electric furnaces use, uses parts instead of fuel to function. Now there's something interesting, uses parts instead of fuel to function. That could be very useful for us. Ex in fact, extremely useful. And then making dust allows you to make dust, which can now make alloys. Interesting. Okay, so I guess what we'll do is we'll very quickly go make these machines. Unless, let's just have a look. So let's go magnet, was it a magnet maker? Magnetizer? Pretty standard sort of stuff, nickel ingots, standard wires. That's what we just had to go make a magnetic centrifuge. That's kind of interesting. We'll, we'll be getting to that shortly. And by the way, with this uh, this chop saw, a cool thing about it is if you if you were using, for instance, wood, and you wanted to make a little bit more on your planks from uh, per log that you have, look at this. It makes six oak wood planks. But of course, I'm guessing this will take some of that durability of these things. And not only that, you can also go ahead and make yourself some of these, uh, these blank quartz plates just by making yourself a block of quartz, your standard sort of quartz block. Here we go, we've managed to get ourselves the magnetizer and also the grill, the, dr the grill grinder, the drill grinder, right over here. And what we have to do, because we've kind of got ourselves to a little bit of a, a sticky situation here, and that is we've got ourselves the drill grinder, which we can make. We got the magnetizing magnets, which I can actually do the standard magnet, and I'll show you how cool this is. And also, we got ourselves the mechanical smelting, which is what we need to do right now. And I don't actually know why I got rid of this thing, but uh, I had a thing here. And by the way, this is a neat little thing you can do with the metal cutting machine. Instead of having this over here, with the recipe of having four of these iron ingots to one basic gear, you can just put in one iron ingot into this metal cutter, and that'll give you one basic gear, which is way cheaper. You don't need three other pieces of iron, and you also don't need to have yourself another uh, another thing of stone in there. We'll just pop that in there, because that's kind of useful anyway. Uh, but look at this. Alright, so we put a magnet in here, and let's just go ahead and... Uh, can I do that? Or that'll take me a while, I guess, to find something. Yeah, I'm not going to find this magnetizer very easy, am I? Nah, that's alright. We'll just go here. We go magnet over there, and you can see here, to make a, a magnet here, it requires AC redstone current. Now, alternating current is is basically changing. It, it's it's not really what this is, but this this seems to be the way to do it. Look at this. As soon as we do this, it starts spinning it around. So if we can find a way, if we just, for instance, have a timer that's set to one tick, for instance, we should see it be able to do that pretty pretty easily for us. So what can we make with that? We can uh, check uses, magnetic centrifuge, stationary magnet, a few kind of cool things. That's awesome. All right, so we're probably going to need that very soon. But right now, what we need to do, and, and we'll just claim that. May as well. Right now what we need to do is we need to make ourselves the electric furnace. And what that's going to require us over here, so let's go uh, electric, electric, if I can spell it, electric, no, electric. And uh, those are rockets. But over here what we need to do is we need to make one of these heating elements. We need the nickel, furnace, standard wise, all easy stuff. But we need this cupro nickel oil, oh, oh, alloy, sorry, not oil, <laughs> alloy. And for that we need to be able to make nickel dust, which we can't actually find. But what I have been able to find uh, through just searching around a little bit was I could go ahead and do this here, one nickel, and what we'll do is we'll just get another two copper because I have ground down two copper into dust. Well, one copper into dust, one nickel into dust. Just like that, pulverized copper. And the reason that's like that is because I, I broke it down a little bit. So you can 
you can break it down into these and then put it back together. But I think it, I think it should work all together. So if I do that there, do those there, you can see we've got copper nickel mixture. And I'm fairly certain that this over here should still give us the exact same stuff as what we need. In fact, we don't need those in our inventory. We'll get rid of them. So let's check this out. We need cupro nickel. And I'm, I'm not too sure what this is going to come out as, but I'm fairly certain it's going to be the same stuff. If we grind it down, maybe we'll be able to... Yeah, factory tech, cupro nickel alloy ingots. Exactly what we needed. So what we're going to need for this is another... Just three. Okay. Not. I thought it was going to be five. So there we go. That's enough for us. And go... Oh, no. I thought I took it already. That's fine. Give us one last one. And then we'll be able to go ahead and move on. Which, by the way, this server here isn't actually that grindy, weirdly enough. Considering we got all these machines, if you had a good way of producing yourself a bit of iron, you had a good way of... I mean, I guess there, there is a good way of producing all the stuff you need for this. If we go down here, let's let's go check how this thing's going. Uh, some sticks, I'm assuming that's from that breaking. Yep. But we've got a good amount of fish. Nickel, copper... And iron, and I'm pretty sure it only produces three of those, and I'm guessing fish wasn't on that list. But we may as well just take those those ingots there. Pretty cool, pretty useful. Uh, and we'll click on that, because that's the only way I know to get up without falling down. And we'll just carry on with this, but that, that's pretty neat over there, just in general. Very, very neat little thing. So let's get ourselves into this next piece, which is going to be making one of those. Then I guess we've got two of those, which means we can very easily just make a, make a furnace. And then make ourselves an electric furnace now this is going to be interesting mechanical smelting how does this work so you need one of those of course as per usual we kind of make the thing and we make some of those so i'll get those in here quick probably just do a few more because we'll, we'll need them anyway uh, we'll also go ahead and make one of them ground down and then another three of these ground down but we've got a few other things open so i want to see what we can now do now that we finally opened up this piece here. So we've got ourselves that, we'll just claim that, and we can make ourselves mechanically melting. What does that do? It allows you to melt glowstone. Guess makes it, uh, makes some melted down glowstone. That's about it, I guess. A uh, circuit scribe allows you to, allows you to etch patterns on quartz plates. You can see the patterns in the blueprint collection. So this should be taking us up to what I would imagine would be a next tier of this mechanical, of this basic factory stuff. So from the mechanical stuff to some more electronic stuff, I'm guessing. Yeah, you can see compressing chambers and propane furnaces and things along those lines. The magnetic centrifuge allows you to separate gravel into iron and nickel nuggets. That could be something that could be very useful to us. And it's really not that far away from us being able to do that. So, uh, well, I mean, in terms of us getting the resources, we, we can do it right now. So I'll go ahead, I'll do a few of these machines, and then we can have a look at how these machines are working. Besides that, I also want to really use some of those things that we saw in the beginning, the, the, little, the little pieces I was demonstrating that we're throwing things around. They were pretty cool. So now we've pretty much got up to the third wave here. If you have a look there, we've got ourselves this whole piece. Well, this whole kind of thing here, just the basics, the next wave, and now the next wave where you use things made from here to make things from there. I kind of like this little progress that we make in slowly but surely. How about we actually make this crucible? And I think the recipe, if I remember correctly, it was something pretty simple like that. And then... Oh, Done it. I've forgotten, I've forgotten the last piece. It wasn't something like that. Nah, that's all right. We'll, we'll go ahead and go crucible because we may as well just make it and get it out the way. Crucible like that. Ah, so close. So, so close. Well, we've got that one out the way. We'll just drop it down there. We'll mess around with it. Obviously, we need the, those two things. Same sort of stuff, same sort of thing. But what we do need now is we need to make ourselves the magnetic... Oh, mag... I can't spell when I when I record stuff, uh, but there we go. We need this magnetic centrifuge, which is a very interesting thing because we're going to have to make ourselves a centrifuge, which we've already made, and we're also going to have to get one of these copper circuit boards in pattern number four. And the way we're going to have to do that is by making the circuit over here. The sir, how can I not? <laughs> you see what I mean? It's crazy. So there we go. The circuit scribe over here. So we need another heating element. As we, we have needed quite a few, we need a nickel cutting blade, which I think we may, yeah, may need to make. And we also need a block of invar. So that's probably the, the thing that's going to be the most complicated for us to make right now. By the way, nickel, it's uh, it's becoming pretty tough to get our hands on it. So getting this uh, this next stage of the uh, the centrifuges, the, this, not, oh, what is that? Oh, broken gear. Oh, okay, that's what happens. That must be what happens when these things end up dying out which is fine we'll just pop some of them in there so what we do need to oh no i've just realized 
I've made a drill bit instead of using that nickel for what I needed it, which was over here. But that's fine. We'll we'll use those drill bits in any case. Uh, but with these with this nickel that I was taught, what I'm showing you now is uh, oh, I wonder if that works. Uh, is we're gonna need to get ourselves this magnetic centrifuge to separate nickel out of the out of the gravel. And to make gravel, we can also go ahead and use this over here to make gravel because currently we don't have a good way of making gravel. I hope it doesn't chew through this thing too much. We'll see how many we got. We, we've taken one out. We'll see how many we go through. And let's just go back and check out what else we need. We need invar. Now invar is an interesting one because when you click on invar, we've got no proper way of, of making it in here that I can see, at least in terms of recipes. But you can make it. The majority of them have it over here. If I show you this, for instance, invar dust, that's actually working, weirdly enough. But there's a lot of them that show you it as something that can't be. Here we go. A restricted item, some of these. So that's that's the one that generally comes up. But what you can do is you can make invar in uh, in this sort of stuff here, which is, I'm pretty sure, one iron to... Oh, we, we've got to clear out a bit. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to have to do this here just to clear this thing out. It's been a while, actually, since we've used this. So I guess flushing it out isn't a bad thing. And in fact, we'll just get rid of that because we don't need that right now. What it is, it's two iron to one nickel, I'm fairly certain, and we don't have the nickel, which is my issue that we currently have. But that's all right. We should be able to go down here and not for too long, wait around and get ourselves a little bit of nickel. In fact, we may even have it just already. No, two. It seems to be the rarest of them all. Oh boy, that took us quite some time and we finally have got it all ready to go. So I have made the circuit maker or whatever it is right there. But what we did do is we went and expanded this out quite a bit. And by the way, a little bit of a hint, these can't be right next to each other. I tried putting that one in over there. It looked like it was producing something. It just didn't produce anything, to be completely <laughs> completely honest. It was just literally doing absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and start up with this circuit scribe. A very complicated machine. And I'm going to walk you through how to do it. Because it could, it could stomp you a little bit. So what you need is you need these blank quartz plates, which... Weirdly enough, we could make way down in the very beginning, uh, but we haven't had to use them yet. In fact, where did I just go? Basic factory. We can make them ever since we made, I think, this quartz plates one, I think. Yeah, that was it. That it has to be, because it says quartz plates. So, yeah, Jancy, think about it. It has to be the case. But around here, okay, there's server backup. Whatever. Ignore that. That means nothing. Uh, but we can make ourselves this now when we've uh, when we finally got this, this little piece here. So let's go to our uh, magnetic... Over there, magnetic uh, centrifuge. We need to make the circuit board pattern fall. And if you click on that, you can click on to there where it's the copper filled one that you have to put in a furnace and you can do that. But when you click on this etched quartz plate, it kind of throws you off. And another thing that's weird about this is there's no point in this place besides around here where it says, you can see the patterns in the blueprint collection. Very weird. You didn't didn't really tell you to make this book, but this over here is the blueprint collection, which is not only a collection of blueprints for this, it's also a collection of just everything about this mod. So if you're having trouble, this is where you have to be. And what you can do is you can go over here to tools and devices. Is it no, sorry, it's not, it's part specifications, circuit board, and then you can click over and you can see all the different types. And we need this pattern over here. So let's try a little memory game and see how we go with that. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do it, and it should be sideways, of course, okay. Uh, okay, let's let's try it out. Like that, maybe something like that. I think it went like this. I'm trying to do it as quick as possible to not uh, get dis <laughs> get distracted. Uh, how do we go? Tools and devices, no. Uh, part specifications, last one. Oh, so close. Okay, we needed the, the bottom to be... Oh, it doesn't even save it? Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, now I'm stumped. <laughs> I think it was like that, and that was it. There, how do we how do we click make? I think that was it. I'm I'm fairly certain that was it. Okay, so uh, by the way, I have filled these up. I might just have to have a look and see what I'm missing out on. You can also do that sort of stuff there, but that is that is pretty tough. So it actually does end up becoming a little bit of a memory thing. Of course, I could just screenshot it. Probably the best option. Yeah, uh, but. Really not a big deal. So, one last check. Let me let me do this one last time. I'm sure there's probably a, a much better way of doing this. If we go there, okay. Got it. There, there, there. All these here. This one was over this way. There we go. Okay, so we get that tick. Now what? Uh, does, does this do anything? I hope we don't 
Okay, so it saves it. Alrighty, so when we exit out of it, there it starts to work. Fantastic. Alright, so we've managed to get that. A little bit of a memory game. I wonder if it'll if it'll save it for us. But that that is pretty good. A few little interesting things here when you when you open this book. I know it has actually paused. But when you go over to machine info, I think it is, or no part specifications, is it maybe? Yeah, basic motor and all these things. We've got ourselves this advanced motor, which keeps breaking, and it really doesn't help us too much because all it does is it just gives us a piece of redstone back. But one thing that this uh, this advanced motor does say is that uh, this is the gate, well, uh, automating the production of advanced motors is the gateway to being able to use a good chunk of the machines, which I think is a good thing. So if we can find a way of automating this, which shouldn't be too difficult, we're getting copper nuggets, we're getting all the stuff we need to make one of those advanced motors, we should be able to do it fairly simply. And in fact, how do I stop this? Do I just pull these out? I didn't want four of these, but that's fine. And I guess also, by the way, to, to complete this, we'll just go around here. And to complete this, we have to do one, two, and three as well, which is not a big deal. But what we really need is we need this magnetic centrifuge, which we will make by putting a little bit of copper in here. And by the way, this over here uh, really doesn't do too well. It absolutely destroys these pieces here. So we may have to have a look into those eventually. But I also did go ahead and do another interesting thing, which was I went ahead and put in a gold. Actually, isn't this the way, isn't that the way it works? Like that, like that, red copper dust on top of it. Okay, cool. And then that goes in there, like that. I put a gold motor in here, which I'm not too sure if it just lasts a bit longer. I probably should have looked that up in the book, but I, I was just messing around a little bit. Okay, that's interesting. What can we do with this? So this is the used heating element. We can just smelt it down into three. Okay, that's actually very, very kind to us. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's a very kind thing to have. Because all we have to do is just do this, and then we get three of these uh, cupronickel things back again, which is which is fantastic. In fact, that is that is very good. Uh, I just need that and put that there. We'll pick those up eventually, and like that. So we can just save that one, and we just need to spend a bit of redstone on it, which which is very very fair. I I'll tell you that. That's actually very cool. So let's go into there, get one of these, and bam, bam, and. Uh, I guess I'll, I've kind of given each one its own little area. We'll, we'll put this one over here. So we need another magnet, another one of these motors. Let's just make a gold motor for, for the hell of it. We'll go ahead and go uh, motor. Because it does work. May as well use it. So a gold one in there. We needed a magnet as well. And also one of those copper wires. Which I'm assuming you could also just use a gold wire to do the exact same thing with. So we'll do that and make one of these. I, I, oh yeah, I can't click it in. This is for some reason, and I, I don't know why, <laughs> one of my favorite little things about it, just messing with like alternating redstone current. I, I thought it was a pretty neat idea. Nice little funny sort of thing to do. So there we go. I guess it, uh, the way it would work would just be a certain number of, of inputs of, of redstone signal. So there and there we go. All right, so try this out. This should separate into, I'm guessing, little shards of gravel or something like that. Maybe flint. Yeah, flint, iron, and nickel. And it said it would only separate iron and nickel from this. So that seems like that's all that this is going to be used for. So that's fantastic. And all we'll need to do is just automate the production of some of these, some of those, and some of those, which is fairly simple. Very, very happy with this. In fact, uh, today we've done a, a very good thing. So what we're going to do now is we can claim that. We can go ahead, get these other three things through here. And then we're going to have to go ahead and try and complete the next things that open. Which, by the way, will be done in the next episode. Because for today, I think we've gone up to a perfect point where people who might have some trouble making circuits might not be able to get to them. And now, hopefully, we have got you guys through some of the basic stuff. And myself, of course, in, in terms of progressing through this place. Which, by the way, is a very fun thing. Just pushing through these different things, going further and further ahead, is a bunch of fun. But for today, guys, we will call the episode there. Thank you very much for hanging around with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.